Hello everybody, my name is Liddy. Welcome back to the Turing Test, Chapter 3. I'm only doing one chapter per video, just because there's only, I think there, I did a quick Google search, and there's only like seven chapters, so I figured the series won't last too long, and I wanted it to last a little bit, <laughs> while I think of another game to play after this. Um... I do have some ideas for, for a few games, but I just haven't made up my mind yet. I guess I, I obviously I love puzzle games, but I don't know if I want to do just puzzle games or not. But we will see and look forward to that if I ever like make up my mind. <laughs> Alright, enough of the chit chat. Let's get into it. <laughs> Right, jeez. Been eighty years. Am I going the right way? Yeah, okay. The door was opening. These people should not have been sent here. It's not safe. Manned space travel is not safe. Since mankind first entered space, the debate has raged over the value of manned space travel. There is a large contingent of the ISA what that are you? all tasks that need to be performed on Europa could be performed by machines. It is obviously less risky to send machines rather than humans into space. That looks familiar at all. That doesn't familiar at all. Yeah, so he sent a dog into space, right? <laughs> like even, um, I think the very first animals to actually like go in the air was a cow, a chicken. Ah, oh, there's another one, maybe a goat or a sheep. <laughs> it was a hot. It was in a hot air balloon. I always find that kind of funny. What opens you up? Oh, okay. What do you do? You... You activate that, which opens that door. Okay, so I need to... I need that right there. But I also need one right there. So... Oh, all right, and shoot right there. All right, go through this door. Right? Oh, no. Come in. I get not. What is the? Does the first one disappear? Yeah. Okay. Oh, would you look at that? So that opens up. Oh, does that? Is this? Oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Saying. So I somehow need to get that off the pressure plate. Tell me, Tom. Tell me, Tom. <laughs> Oh, Tom's not telling me. Oh. Your boy is a dummy. He's a big old dummy. Yeah. Right. Maybe. No. We're, we're at the same square. <gasps> uh oh. <laughs> oh. Your boy really is a dummy. That go right there. Pretty much, I'm doing it right. It's just, it's just doing it in the wrong spot. There we go. Yeah. There's no need to hurry on that one. Cool. We sent drones to Earth's moon. Scientists can remotely operate drones. If we did it there, why not here too? Teleoperation became possible on the moon 
when the communication latency was reduced to 1.4 seconds. The distance between the Earth and Earth's moon is approximately 1.3 light seconds. This enables near real-time control of drones by scientists. The story is different with Europa. As the distance between Earth and Jupiter oscillates between approximately 32 and 53 light minutes, it takes a very long time for Earth to communicate with Europa. Due to that distance, teleoperation will never be possible on Europa. Okay, but why not control drones from the satellite? Why not indeed? My systems can be teleoperated from Europa's satellite. That is when the communication lines are open. However, the advantages of human field workers apparently outweigh the risks. So, why can't you solve these tests, Tom? I am not permitted to think laterally. Parts of my systems are permitted to use evolutionary algorithms. This simulates what is called creativity. However, evolutionary algorithms can converge on inefficient and ethically suboptimal solutions. Since this is the case, I'm only permitted to take actions in response to a set of constraints. What do you mean by morally suboptimal? Solutions to problems that transgress ethical boundaries. And all that creativity people have. Ugh, it's the worst. <laughs> Actually, hold up. I think... Oh, um... I think I was supposed to go over there. And you... Right? Maybe? I can't jump that, right? Nope! No. So I'm pretty sure the, the shooty boy needs to go right there. Pretty sure, at least. This is just, this wall in there is gonna be blocking my view of it. Or wait, am I overthinking it again? Boy, allergies are great. Oops. No, you come back. I need you there. I somehow need to bring that with me. Oh. Hold up. So if I do that, okay, I can bring you down there. Which means and switch these out. Hey, hey. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, you can go, you can go there. Now I have two mobile ones. Now I feel like I need to bring that there. Yeah. Hmm. Strange indeed. Strange indeed. You're doing that one. I need one right there. Not sure. Okay, so I got I got all three of them on me. If I do that, I have to put that right there. I can actually bring this one with me. And I think this one goes in the doorway.
Oh, jeez. Nah, sorry for all the cuts. Allergies are acting up today. But this one can go right there. This one can come with me. And I can grab this one. You can go in the door. You can go right there. I can grab you. You can go right there. And everybody's a happy camper. Nice, okay. Yes, I didn't think I could bring them all, all three into one spot. Why does a lack of creativity stop you solving these tests? Well, I contend that problem solving is creativity. These human interaction tests are exercising your creative mind. I don't see how problem solving is creative. Think back to the beginning of these tests. To the first puzzle you solved. It required you to throw a box through a window. Do you remember? Yeah, I think so. I simply had never thought to throw a box through a window. That is creativity, thinking outside of the box. <laughs> Shed the box. Deep down. But is that really creative though? I don't know. That's debatable. Can a computer ever be creative? They can, but a computer's method of creativity is to try everything until something works. Think of nature. People consider nature creative. The process of evolution by natural selection. Oh. It perhaps started with one organism. From there, it essentially tried to create every organism it could. Those organisms that did not survive perished. So, nature's creative force is to try every conceivable idea. Those ideas that work, survive. Okay, so why aren't you permitted to emulate that process? Because the solutions that a biological process creates are not always good solutions. As we see, nature is morally ambivalent. It is. It will yeah. happily create morally suboptimal ideas to fulfill its creative mandate. We see this in parasitic worms, viruses, and pathogens. Nature gonna nature, man. Well, if you weren't restricted, do you think you could be creative? As creative as a human? Certainly. You believe yourself to be a creative? Eh. But in mathematical terms, creativity is merely constrained chaos. What do you mean? I have discerned that creativity is divergent thinking. Creating an organic solution to a problem. In the human mind, divergent thoughts are created and then curated by the frontal lobe. I can create divergent thoughts and moderate them. So, I am creative. Organic solutions? Organic, in that it is developed through a biological process. Whether that is the process of evolution or a computed process. Oh, I, I talked a while for it th right there. I feel like a computer can like figure out some ideas. Are you trying to block my view? Oh, so if he sees, so if this sees me, so I probably just have to put a pillar in front of him, in front of here. Like for like the box in the window, I feel like a computer wouldn't be able to figure that one out. Like where all the ways, or where where all can the box actually go? And it could probably compute that really quickly. I would think so. That work? Yes, nice, nice. Nice. Oh nope. come on! I have to move them over slightly. Jeez. Alright. it. Get all sneaky like. Almost had to do it again. Oh, what are you? Oh, it's gonna push me there. A little cubby hole there, huh? 
Inverse's machine epsilon. Ooh, what is the piss? This is a legitimate. Completely new to me. <laughs> Alright, I'm getting closer. I don't know if it was a like forever staircase or not. How can you not open both? Hey, bud. An eyeball. Oh, I guess I can't. No, I wanted to open both. Fine. What about the eyeball? That has to be something, right? Interesting. I have no idea what that was. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that was weird. Oh, if anybody understands that, let me know. What's the point? of this one. Oh, alright. Oh, is it to hold it? that I can take this one um who else quick that's where I think I need a green one though box back with me. Oh. oh yeah. I can hold the door open here. You go there. And I can put you back. Oh, I need the other green one as well. Which that sh should be okay. Need to get bring that back though. Oh, you can have two. You can have three. Yeah, actually, I forgot about that. And I think, yeah, you can release them in order. <laughs> yeah, I legitimately forgot about that. Alright, come back. No. Nope! Yeah, son of a butt. Oof. Whoa. What's the point over here? Let me in. This door not open? Well, it does. Alright. 
I have to bring him back? Bring him with me? Oh, yeah. There's one right there. Ah, I see. I can bring these with me. Man. Nice. Alright, see, so you, you didn't need all of them. Okay, so you could solve these tests, but in a terrible fashion. Can you think of a solution to this one? Chop off your arm and leave it on the button. That way the door will stay open. Yeah, that's not a great solution. You threw the box through the window. Perhaps we could throw you through the window. Actually, Tom, I think I'm okay for help. <laughs> right you are. <laughs> that is the best answer. Chop off your arm. <laughs> I think this is pretty straightforward, I think. You can go there. Then you can go in there. More metal, just to be safe. You can go back. And then I can just take you. You hold that up. <laughs> Chop off your arm. Can I have an update on the crew? I have not managed to track them down. It will have been six years since I've seen them. Or anyone, actually. They have locked all the doors. Ooh. I would not expect a warm reception. <laughs> well, at least they're expecting us. Ah, it's supposed to be like right here, right in the center. It doesn't really lock into place, which is kind of annoying, but whatever. Ah, I see. You. You don't say it's locked in long, but I think. Can I grab, just grab you? If I do that, I'll be able to, I don't know if I... Yeah, cool. I don't know if that was the right way, but it seemed okay. Ooh, what the... Oh, hello. So what was the need to send us here? When the ISA discovered life on the river, they deemed the ground necessary. The advantage of human field workers is that they can adapt to new knowledge more effectively. I, apparently, was not cutting the mustard. It is the Chinese room problem. A computer may be able to interact with new knowledge, but it does not know the value of that knowledge. I think the mustard are a real thing. Sounds familiar. But... So what is it? Alright, that opens that door. Is there anything in there I can grab? Yeah, there's a box I can grab. Okay. But I need to open that door now. With the laser. Or should it sit that one? That's nah, a no, Commander. Oh, what about this one? Is that up now? Nope. Ah. How do you open that one up? Is it? Oh, it's right there. Oh, but what I can, what I can do by bring the stairs up, I can actually bring the box up with me. Okay. Now I can open this door. 
right? Oops. For this one? Yeah, alright, cool. Now do that. Then I can go in here. I'm assuming I probably have to... Oops. Move the laser facing me. Ah, but... Oh! Right, I just have to take that out. Deactivate it, then... Yeah. Right. Not too bad, not too bad. Cool. I've started to collate information from my local instance. It seems the crew intentionally cut communication with the satellite. Why? It appears we had a disagreement. I wonder about what? Ooh. So I'm gonna put you down all the way to give you time to go down. Yeah, cool. Not too bad. So you go up. Then you go up as well. And you go up all the way. No. So, ah, I see. So I need you to go up that far, I think. But right, 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 right. Oh, let me grab it. There. bring this one down just a smidge because with this up that right there I can go right there and transfer this to there that good enough oh wow all right I think I, I thought I was gonna have to mess with a little more. This confirms my fears. The crew have made intentional breaches of my security. The crew have attempted to compromise my systems. What does this mean? They don't want to be found. They are hiding. From who? Us. Well, you're a rogue robot, man. I'll ask me an Easter egg. A number. I don't know what it is. Empty cups? See, I'd be hiding from our robot as well. It'd be nice if you could open things up. Alright. Well, they even smashed it. Alrighty then, that was chapter three. Um, yeah, the puzzles are getting a little more interesting, and even the story is getting a little more interesting as well. So everyone seems to be hiding from Tom, which I'm sure we all suspected. So, yeah. <laughs> yep. Hope you guys are all enjoying, and if you are enjoying it, uh, please subscribe, like, comment. Um, Appreciate any game suggestions or any suggestions at all. <laughs> and if it's not game related. So, <laughs> hope, yeah, as I said, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.